Oh, yeah. Welcome back to another edition of the Gentleman's Den. I am Sean. To my left, Frankie. To my right, Jeff. And also, to my right, Kayla is here in the background. Slamming white claws. Hammering the white claws. Easy, babe. Slow she, down. She going she gonna to get that white claw clam tonight. Easy, babe. Mm. What was that? Was that, the, <laughs> was that the white claw? The white claw. claw. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the uh... Is that the white claw troll. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have you know the call, the mating call. <laughs> <sighs> oh, good time. How's man. everybody doing this week, boys? Uh, How are we feeling? How's life? Great, feeling good. Good. I feel like I'm always feeling good. Yeah, you are. Well, at least you're not on like fucking 500 milligrams of fucking THC today. Yeah, I'm stone tober. Sober October? No, no fucking way can I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sober. I'm drinking water. Yeah, <sighs> Jeff and I are sucking on water. I had a rough, rough morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff went to a car show and every time they saw a cheetah print, they had a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it was like a, one of those rat rod car shows and it was just... Cheetah print and red bandanas everywhere. It, it, <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> all the dudes were dressed like Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you dressed like a 1950s pinup, you must have got oh, like yeah. a free button or something. There's some dope cars there, though. They yeah. had the, the pipes uh, shooting out the flames. Yep, that was cool. The yeah, problem, they the had problem. spark plugs in them, though. They're yeah. cheaters. Yeah. yeah that's... It wasn't the regular pop. I really don't care. It's so cool. It was see. fucking bad. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. talking fucking... <laughs> 10, 20 foot flames. It was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, with gasoline leaking out your fucking yeah. tailpipe. I don't know how he has the side pipes America. and then they're extended all the way like 10 <laughs> feet from the bumper. Well, yeah, you don't want to light the back of your car on fire. Yeah, it's way cooler. You could probably fit a basketball inside of these exhaust pipes. Yeah, too. <laughs> it was huge. I like side pipes, so I would, I would side pipe a car and plug them. You like side pipes, huh? Mostly on dudes, though? Mm. <laughs> Only. He must fuck it on a car. Look at, so that, look at that dude. He's side piping all day. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Means when you run your dick down the one leg, so you're side piping. <laughs> well, you kind of have to. I, all right, I guess My jeans, feels, you know. Yeah, you, got, you got a John Holmes. Unless you got those leg. baggy jeans and then they just sag down. Why the are center. you wearing skinny jeans? You're old. Huh? Huh? These you are like me. halfway. <laughs> They're stretch pants for men. Stretch pants are like God's gift. God's gift. They're stretchy jeans for They're men. They're like, all right, we've been taking care of women for too long with these leggings. <laughs> men men, need men deserve day. comfort right. as well. Stretch material for all. I was so against it. You were all about it. You're like, Easy. bro, you got to try it. I'm like, no, I ain't wearing no fucking stretch pants. Look at you now. And then I got a pair. <laughs> and I tell you what, boys, Change I'm wearing a pair life. right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. These the comfort is next level. Best jeans I've ever bought are these Dickies stretchies. <laughs> I only wear those stretch jeans now. I don't really like to wear pants. I could get so low in these. I could play some great defense on the basketball court. Get so low in these, I could take you in these. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the thought of you playing basketball. Oh, oh right now. my. Easy. Easy, I would love to go sir. But then you think about your knees and your back. And your... I know. I'm scared to sneeze hard. <laughs> <laughs> Might shit my pants. I'm driving in the truck. I'm like, oh, is this the one? Is this the one that sends me in? <laughs> is this where I snap my neck on a sneeze? Go fuck my back. I cracked my neck. Just like It was like one where like, you know, you're like, pop, pop, pop. And you're like, ooh, there's another one. You crack it again. And instantly I was like, oh, fuck. Super hot, started burning. It felt like it was swell, swollen up. Like I was, oh, uh, it was like right as I was laying in bed going to sleep. I was just like, you, you cried myself. You pulled your neck laying down. Yeah, I cracked. You're it. in pretty shit shape, man. If you're pulling your neck, apparently, I'm feeling. You know, down. hold on. Did anyone else weigh themselves for the end of the month thing? Well. <laughs> It's not the end of the month. <laughs> what do you mean we're in October that we started that? In yeah, but we started that the other like one three weeks ago. It's not even been a month yet. Yeah, oh. it's a it's a rotating calendar. Yeah. <laughs> it's the last two and first. Make two. up our own fucking rules. We do do what I want. Yeah, I'm down Easy. thirteen pounds. 
Good for you. You know how he's That's down, good. You know good how, for you. You know how he's down that 13 pounds, though? He just stood on the scale, reached down, and twisted that knob. He's like, <laughs> all right, that looks good. Like, let me snap a picture of that. Look at guys. Look, guys, I weigh 150. <laughs> <laughs> take your gut off the handrail. I, I don't understand it. those people that take, like, the colon blow to, <laughs> to fucking, they're just shitting out. <laughs> you would never make it in the truck. Huh? You no, would never not make a it. Well, I've been trying to get healthier too. I've been like, I drink constantly water. It's like the worst. Driving a truck, it's like <laughs> <laughs> there's nowhere to piss. It's you gotta bring a, you gotta bring an empty jug with you. Yep, I can't like a do it, there. man. Just go get like one of those. It's fucking... bumpy. Dude, or, or no, go get a beer bong hose. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Just drill a, a hole beer in the beer bong. Hose. What, just a funnel? Fucking, just yeah, a funnel. funnel and just put it all the way down into a jug under your seat. Or you put or you just drill a hole in the floorboard and just let it go out the I'm bottom. Telling you, bro, I got ideas. Yo, your truck's leaking fucking shit all <laughs> over the place. Is that coolant? Nah. Yeah, I let me worry smell it. That. Let me oh, smell God. That. No, that you've been eating asparagus, haven't you? <laughs> Something's fucking cracking. <laughs> oh shit! No, well, Sean made it's us. Be a rough life. Yeah, dude. I tell you what, it's tough. It's hard out here for a pimp. You know what's <laughs> that? Nah, no singing. Don't want to get sued. <laughs> I could enjoy the entertainment of a movie. Talk movie quotes all the time. Speaking of movies, we Ooh. just watched a movie. We did, as promised. As promised. <laughs> We're, we're, actually we're, actually fulfilling, right. we're actually fulfilling a promise. Yeah, so we sat down together as a tripod, and, uh, well, my well, lady was there for support. She yeah, but she us. sat on the outside. You know, uh, We were hoping she was sat in between us and fell asleep and pretended she was skiing. But I had Red oh, Red. Oh, dare you. Red Red was a cuddle bug. Yes, Ooh. Jeff's dog my was dog. cuddling. I love that pit bull. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not a pit bull. What is it? It's a mountain cur mix, sir. A mountain cur mix. I'm a sorry. Mountain cur I wanna mix, get I wanna get it sir. correct. Not a pit bull. Not trying to not trying to uh get Jeff kicked out. Not of trying this. to stir up the neighbors. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a pit bull? Yeah, so I'm gonna let it loose on your little kid if you don't get the fuck away from me. <laughs> that is the most sweetest puppy in the world. Yeah. It's not a puppy, but all not a puppy. puppies. Not a puppy. So all anyway, puppies. We watched the movie yesterday. And explain the uh, premise of the movie. The premise of the movie is Homeboy is a failing musician. Well, he's not a real, like, gangster. He's just <laughs> a, He's just a, a man who yeah, plays he, he's actually he plays in, dive bars. He's actually an Indian gentleman who re- wrote his own music and isn't going anywhere and is having a real-life conundrum, if you will. I thought he was English. What's that word mean for our listeners he's, and for me? He was born in England of Indian descent. And then, uh, thank you. I was confused the whole movie. You, you don't know what conundrum means. Conundrum. <laughs> conundrum. Conundrum. <laughs> yeah, we're just what like mind mean? bottled. Like when your thoughts <laughs> your get trapped in a bottle. bottle? <laughs> movie reference. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all the lights, all the lights go out in the world for twelve seconds. I would have been grabbing a boob everywhere. <laughs> Easy, Cosby. <laughs> would, that's 100% Frankie's motivation. If, if the power ever goes out, make sure, ladies, stay the fuck away because you'll right. get your titty grabbed. Oh, titty! I'm, I might grab a butt cheek. Yeah, well, that'll be a dude. Get Maybe. Your you never there. know. Anyway. Is that your hand on my balls? Softest hands in the world. <laughs> so, Mr. Patel gets hit by a bus. <sighs> After all the power goes out, wakes up in the hospital. And then he wakes up to realize the Beatles were never there. So, and he remembers all their songs. Well, most of them. Yeah. <laughs> He's a problem. I couldn't a do it. Of them. But what else wasn't there was uh, Coca-Cola. And what Fra- the fuck? And Frankie almost had a heart attack. Let's talk about if, that. <laughs> thinking if Coca-Cola never existed. I would... I don't know how I'd get through my day. How how would you start your day without Coke? With a Coca-Cola. Pepsi. <laughs> With a Pepsi. No. Ew. I hate wrong. Coke. It's like the worst pop. I love it. I'm ever. I'm not I'm not a Coke. Uh, I'm not so much. I'd I'm not rather a, have like a Pepsi. I'd rather have an RC, RC Cola. I'd rather have an RC. I would rather Ooh. I would rather have a Jolly Good. Ooh, a Jolly Good. A Jolly Both Good Cola. Cola. What were the cheap What are the cheap ones? 
Is there a cheap one? That was the Jolly Good. Was, was the it cheap, the Jolly Good? Jolly Good where you could you could mix. Yeah, but it didn't have a 12... good name though. Because there's like um, Mountain Lightning and Doctor Thunder. <laughs> Is there like a? That was that's that's the Walmart brand. That's the Sam's Choice. <laughs> but what's did they have a one for Coke? It was just cola. Just straight <laughs> up cola. It was cola. See, this is Pass what I'm saying. I'm, the world needs Coke. Pass me when I'm colas, player. You know, everything in Florida is a Coke. Everything in the South is a Coke, sir. Yeah, that's right. What kind of Coke would you like? I'd have a Sprite. I, I was so <laughs> upset when I was down there. I'm like, fucking Coke. Like, I was, like, upset that they asked me again. I'm like, I'll have a Coke to drink. A cola? <laughs> what kind of Coke? A cola? Fucking Coke. Regular cola. Like, Coke. What do you mean? Red can. Red can. The first time my sister had explained it to me, everything's a Coke down here. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. It's a bunch of fucking stupid people. That makes no people. sense. Yeah, I, I didn't mean that all you it's, from the South. No, it's Florida. Every, and people in Florida know they're fucking stupid. Well, there's a lot of old people. Yeah, they dumb. make fucking get... French bread toasted and try pulling it off as French toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just yeah. saying, I'm at that point in my life now where I would like... I always thought I was like learning more and like, oh yeah, all this stuff I'm learning and, and growing and becoming more knowledgeable. And then like, I think I hit my peak and I'm now on the decline already. You know what old you're people just don't get technology. And you're the youngest out of us and you're the oldest. You're actually getting dumber. I just hate it. technology and doing stuff. And Yeah, we know. Well, you, <laughs> if you aren't up with it, then yeah, you kind of fall off. Yeah, or if you've never done it, like I don't know shit about. Tw- I don't don't know shit about Twitter, Twitter, <sighs> and I yeah, I know both of you don't know shit about social or media. Instagram. Or Facebook. I was wondering what is like. What if someone pokes you? Does that mean they want to fuck? Yeah, is that what that's for? Yeah, yeah pretty much. I, that's what I would uh, interpret it as. Like, if, if someone pokes you, they're li- literally you want to punch them in the fucking face for no reason. I would send back. Woo-hoo. Why? It's because my buddy's mom poked me the other day. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, well, Josh, she's trying to fuck. She's open. It's easy, lady. <laughs> Back <laughs> off. So kind of. I'm a so taken man. Lady tiger. Would you I'm kiss a... me if I wore the hat? Yeah. Oh boy. What are you? So, what are like? some other? What were some other? Like, if can you think of any other bands? Like, if they didn't exist, how would have shaped the the what world? About, what about like Led Zeppelin? Ooh. I was thinking like Jimi oh. Hendrix Ooh. or Hendrix. It's a good one. That, that is yeah, but a real good one. Yeah, you got really about Elvis, fuckers. If Elvis never, that was yeah, the, probably the yeah. If Elvis never lived, then mm-hmm. just think about it. We'd be like fucking dancing three feet from each other. No, no, just no. If, all upper body, no legs. I'm gonna tell you what. No, if Elvis would have never been born, then Chuck Berry would have been a bigger star. <laughs> <laughs> what about like the shit? late '80s, early '90s? Like, would hair metal still be going on if Nirvana never came around? Ooh. Nirvana just killed that whole yeah. glam rock <laughs> fucking 100% genre. murdered it. Yeah, if well, if there was no Kiss, would there be an Alice Cooper? Ozzy? Ooh. I yeah. hate I don't like Kiss. I'm putting it out there. Never a Kiss fan. Kelly does not like the Kiss. Cuz <laughs> don't like kissing. Cuz cuz Jeff <laughs> doesn't like to rock and all night, rock and roll all night. No. Party, party every, every day. No, <laughs> I think that song's fucking stupid. I, I like the, stupid. I like the the the, <laughs> the seated role models. Uh, I like to party all night and part of every day. <laughs> <laughs> part of every day. <laughs> no, it's party every day. No, no, no. I only like I only like to rock and roll part of every day. <laughs> Particularly but, around noon. <sighs> I, I like to get a good nap in there. <laughs> More of a liquid lunch guy. Yeah, mm. it's it's weird because you you think of the, the your be- mic fell on your face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Beatles, like how crazy it is that the Beatles, uh, the what they've shaped, how they've shaped the world. Just like, good music. Wise. Anyone who tells me the Rolling Stones are better than the Beatles can pound fucking sand. Pound fucking yeah, sand by the handful. Do you know what happens when you pound sand? It, it's very uncomfortable in your anus. What are you oh, pounding pound it, it with? Your anus. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was thinking like punching arm. it or maybe using some kind of mallet. By, 
pound, pound, pound sand means shove it up your ass, sir. Oh, God. I was thinking literally. Like, like, I'm, I'm a pound it. Yeah, I'm yeah. a pound that shit. That, that would be uncomfortable <laughs> on your wiener. M- music like that, though, I absolutely love. It makes you feel a type of way that is un just describable it's it's a feeling and an emotion and brings you to a time or a memory or a place that is just the greatest thing in the world <laughs> don't like listening to it because it always makes me want to cry i don't know what that says about my past but that means good song good song if, if you got tears rolling down your eyes if you're it touched you very introspective about your life i'm just sensitive yeah <laughs> <laughs> we know <laughs> Oh, I got a sensitive side. I'm like an onion. There's layers. Dude, it's know. crazy. Like but how I'll many cry? How many genres the Beatles covered? Like they went from like you know poppy, yeah, right, to yeah. like this to that, you to know, folk to yeah, to the Ellis, you know, the Sergeant Pepper shit. To yeah. man, yeah, and they were only Sunday. around for what eight years? Yeah, that's fucking nuts. If you think about all the it. hits that they had in eight years, and Nickelback's been around longer. Than they, the they have any? <laughs> they've had the same song going for the last 15 years. I mean, give it up to them, man. They outlasted the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Not one of their songs is as oh. iconic, though. How oh. dare you? Look at this photograph. I beg to differ. That photograph song's an American classic. It's a Canadian classic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's be honest, it's a Canadian classic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's say let, let's talk about though one of the other things that I couldn't stand about that movie. No coke. That that's absurd. The fact that there was no Harry Potter, bro. It's the only there was no cigarettes. Ooh. Oh. I have. I'm totally for that. I am against it. As you got one just burning. I don't think they should be legal. I don't think that they should be manufactured. I totally think that they're addictive and worthless. And All right, so. Let me fucking take a drag off this. I put up a post today, and all I said was, oh, man, 12 people died from vaping. Let's fucking ban it everywhere. Yet millions die every year from fucking cigarette smoke. <laughs> nah, we're good. We're going to nah. keep that rolling. Tax money on that is crazy. Yeah, I, t- I was talking to some other guy about this the other day, and I was like, it literally says this could kill you on the side of that cigarette box. Yeah. I'm a smoke. But vaping, bro. That juice again. that juice sure. is getting in your stomach, and it is clogging those lungs. And I'm like, well, it's just you know, maybe, it's, but it's better than cigarettes. It's the same thing with fucking opioids. Oh, no, no you won't get it on these at all. We'll just, we'll just take you off them once your prescription ends. And then you're fucking sucking dick in a parking lot for heroin. They fucking right. get your fix. What were you doing last Saturday? <laughs> My jaw is so sore. <laughs> I made $355.05. <laughs> Who gave you the nickels? <laughs> all of them. They all did. <laughs> it's a $300 hat, bitch. <laughs> that is the most classic fucking meme of all time. Oh, the Terminator meme? Yeah. <laughs> Google it. It's worth a Google, guys. We'll put it <laughs> on our... Well, well, Sean will. Sean will put that. <laughs> yeah, I won't be the, able to figure it out. I'll no, I won't be able Twitter. to uh, pawn sign anything. So. Tweet it, Jeff. I'll put it on huh? the old Twitter machine. I don't know how to tweet. I'm old as fuck, bro. <laughs> I, wish I'd, I wish I knew. I wish I could be I'm, hip and I'm, say I'm cool. I'm so sad that I'm the oldest out of the group. <laughs> and they're more social media savvy than all you. Fools. You are. You are. Well, maybe not Kayla. <laughs> Kayla <laughs> no, you are. Kayla's like 13. <laughs> Seventeen. I love that magazine. Um, my favorite. You still reading Tiger Beat? Tiger Beat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, is J- is, what's his name? Young, JTT. Jo- Jonathan Taylor Thomas yeah. still a thing. <sighs> Justin Timberlake. Devin. Who's the other guy? Devin Sawa. De- Devin Sawa. <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. You saw Idle Hands. Fuck face. Okay. The movie that made me fall in love with, with Jessica, Jessica Alba. Alba. Oh, so hot. Dear God. So hot. Dear. You know God. what? You know Listen. Huh? Jessica Alba came out and said her three kids has ruined her body. I don't care. Give me a shot at the title. <laughs> Give me a shot at the title. I'll go 12 rounds. I'm going 12 rounds. You want a fourth? <laughs> you, exactly. Okay, Whoever locked problem. that up is a 
fucking and genius. And he's a dude that looks just like you. Really? No. Spanish? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> he is a, so I believe he is a Spanish. A chance. See? Well, she's very olive skinned, and so are you. You guys would make cute babies. Nice tan. So greasy looking. Nice, <laughs> so nice greasy looking. Tan skin, dark haired babies. Oh, man. Just just glistening in the sun. <laughs> like, damn, that's a good looking baby. Why did you smother your kids in fucking baby oil? That's not baby oil. That's just their natural grease. They just <laughs> glisten. That's that Polish Italian. It, it whatever she is, some kind of some kind of Spanish or Middle Eastern, some kind of lady. Don't thugger. matter. Don't matter. Hot. It don't. So hot. Oh, hey, honey, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She'd probably bang her too. <laughs> yeah, two hundred percent. With her mouth just. Oh. All right, real quick. Like eating a roast beef sandwich really fast. Your mic fell I, on your face again. No, it's fine. Leave it alone. It's as my belly bounces. So it's your cackle. Top top five, I feel like, is kind of too much. But top three, like a uh, all time list, like no matter what. Like if there was like the card, you get a, you know what I mean, a hall pass. Who's your three? Top mm. three hall pass. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Jessica Alba on that list. Sin City Jessica Alba was on that list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm more of the into the blue Jessica Alba. Same same time period. Yeah, yeah. She just wore less. <sighs> well, I don't know, man. Sin yeah, City. that's pretty close. That's <laughs> pretty close. Uh, you know what? I I that's that's a list that's gonna have to be uh thought over very. Sure, it's like I need to plan this out. I need like a couple probably. Of weeks. Uh, Jeff's been thinking about this a long time. Brad Pitt, Chris Helmsworth, and <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Just to see what that's all about. <laughs> see, to see what that mouth do. <laughs> Kevin Spacey to see he what looks that like mouth a, do. He looks like a pro. I think you aged out for Kevin Spacey, though. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm too impressed old. with your top three. He's like, hmm. Huh? I said I'm impressed with your top three. Yeah. It's a good top three. So Sean, can, Sean's gonna need some time here. Dude, uh, it's it's hard, man. It, no, it's actually soft, but uh, it's it's Whoa. it's hard to call because there's there's some that you're like Halle Berry is always a just she's a fucking di- she hasn't oh, aged. She has, yeah, I'm out. It's incredible. It's crazy. I'd have to bring one from childhood and say Carmen Electra because you know she. She's a, she's another one though that's held well. Yeah. Like you look at like Jenny McCarthy, not so much. Not so much. Yeah, but she's always been. Carmen Electra's just hot. hot. There's a difference between beautiful and hot. Yeah, like but Jennifer she's Aniston there. is beautiful. Yes, that's my other one on the list. Well, it'd be it's hard between her. God, Jessica you got Alba. excited. Your mouth, mouth, uh, mic levels <laughs> jumped. Jumping, bro. Talking she's about so with, fine with Pussy. Carmen Electra. <laughs> with Carmen Electra, <laughs> Electra, though, I want to see her without makeup. I really don't. I yeah, think, but you're gonna, I think, are you I think that's Tessa. Are you marrying her or just banging her for one night so she I'm, can just keep it on? Yeah, it's just the one yeah, night. Yeah, but thing. It's she's all one sweaty night. and that shit's just running. Looks like clown makeup at what the end you, of the day. You fuck with the lights on, you weirdo. <laughs> you got to turn the lights on to find your clothes to get out of there. No, you don't. That's why I keep my boxers around one, one, one ankle. ankle <laughs> just in case for a quick little slip up and I'm going to the bathroom. God, I don't want chicks sandwich. telling me about my hairy ass. I might have to shave it. Digging around in those sheets for my boxers. I know exactly where they're at. Right? (laughs) It's around my ankle. You could break out the old FBB. (laughs) Fold before banging. No. Just at the end of the bed, just have your clothes folded up real nice. (laughs) Don't wait. Hold on, honey. I'm Hold on, baby. Why don't you warm that turkey for me? I got to fold these clothes. Yeah, warm that skillet. Go grab that blow dryer and warm up my Ooh. dinner. Oh, shit. But yeah, definitely Carmen Electra. I would say Jennifer Aniston, but it's hard because, like, Kate Beckinsale. Dude. Another one. Oh. Ageless. Fucking ageless. So hot. You know who and else I Jessica always Alba. thought was hot as fuck since the beginning of time? Sophia was Bush. Fucking, no. Hot. Uh, Jennifer mm. Connolly. I, see, I never got into Jennifer. Oh, man. She does something. You got your phone out, Kayla. Show me. She's already on it. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what she's here for. Dark hair, blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see Kayla's it. got the eye roll going. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she's over there. Uh, she. 
Yeah, the yeah, problem, I'm the in problem, on that. The problem with for with Jennifer Connelly for me, there's just some weirdness. She to has her. a very um, looks like she's like she's real stern, like businessy, like yeah, she don't fuck around. Right, yeah, she's gonna like grab she your see. dick and she knows what to do with it. Oh. Just go grab a handful of you. I don't know. Man, you don't want like, it to be fucking amateur hour on, at the I'm Apollo. I'm the boss. Let's get that straight. I'm the boss. Oh, I'm right? sure. I ain't getting bossed around in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm the boss. Hey, yo, you go rub my back and bring me a Coke. Right. She'd be like, what mother... I ain't having it. She's kicking you in the fucking teeth, knocking you down the stairs. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Roll reversal, bro. If they had the money shot, Patrice O'Neal said it best. Man, men would be fucking just little bitches sit there. <laughs> Let's be honest. We are. Let me go get you a towel. You be doing the laundry, making Clean sandwiches. I know they got dudes doing uh, pole dancing for workouts now. Like, come shut on. the fuck. Up. Oh yes, not What's happening. It coming so what do you guys think? You guys want to go to like a uh, lap dancing How seminar? How do you think Sean's been losing all this weight? <laughs> Intermittent fasting and pole and dance. <laughs> <laughs> Intermittent fasting. That's it. I haven't been working out at no all. No pole dancing. I no swear, no, dude. My, I'm still too heavy to. Fucking no, the places he pulled. Pole. The place he pole dance at is called Intermittent Fasting. <laughs> <laughs> It's like opening a bar called the gym. Oh, yeah. that's fucking hilarious. Where are you going? The, the gym. gym. Damn, you've been working out a lot lately. Yeah, twelve Getting ounce curls. Fuck. <laughs> twelve ounce curls like a motherfucker. We will oh, do that. Shit. Oh fuck yeah! Yes, yes, yeah, guys. So, uh, what else is uh, cracking this week? I'm being amused by Kayla showing me pole dancing videos. Look at these dudes. I don't want to see dudes pole dancing. Dudes this, are look pole at that. dancing. Does that turn you on? No. So, why then? Why are guys doing this? Uh, we were talking about this earlier, and you guys were fucking laughing at me because of my love for pro wrestling. Oh but, my god! But, <laughs> but last week was Christmas for me. It was Hanukkah. No, it's not a love. <laughs> it's an obsession. <laughs> I, dude, it is. It's and that's fine. Do you, bro? It just, just like you're obsessed with supers. How many videos oh do you god. watch a day? A day. I came. How many videos do you a jerk lot. off to? A day. We Pop have the hood. We have the Fast and Furious Supra sitting on the table right now. <laughs> yes, he just goals. So, Guys, these are goals. Keep your goals in front of you. Like I said, exactly. Everybody has their their uh, fucking uh, what would it be a guilty pleasure, and mine is pro wrestling. Yeah, mine's but, masturbating. And I will. That's weird. And I will share it with you. <laughs> I you love know, it. you are my friend. I yeah. love you, and I know. <laughs> I know that you love wrestling, and you get excited to tell me about it and bring me to the shows, and I enjoy going because it means a lot to you. And it's, so I and will it's go to wrestling. I don't. It's not like I'm like this is fucking gay. Like Aww. when you go there, it's 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 fun. I'm just I, I'm just not really into it. You know? I, I, but it is. I, it's it, it's fun it, time. It's, it's a fun fucking time. It's his release. Let him release. Well, that's yeah, well. It's that's just like I when just you said. like like we were saying earlier. When you, when you hear a song that brings you back to. Dude, pro wrestling brings me back to my childhood, sitting at my grandma and my dad's house when I was fucking eight years old, eating pancakes with my grandma, watching pro wrestling, and she used to swear at the bad guys. It is the <laughs> funniest shit to me. Like, if I could fucking record, take that out of my memory and record it and show it to people, people would be crying. Oh, you're a bastard. Look at that bastard. He's such a bastard. Just wait, man. A few more years, technology, I'm sure that's going to be a thing. But... That's why I love and pro wrestling for me is performance art. It's like you know watching any like a stripper. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them I would much rather titties. watch a stripper anytime. And these dudes and these dudes and ladies are more athletic than most pro fucking athletes. You think they're more athletic than me? <laughs> they would fucking kill you. <laughs> no way! Look at this. Body. I think by the time down thirteen pounds, you. you know that entrance. Pounds. They play that entrance music and walk down that fucking ramp. You'd, you'd be, be out of breath halfway down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty steep. <laughs> <laughs> and then after the match, you're like, "Fuck! How am I gonna get up that?" <laughs> right. I would. I would just lay there until they had to come and stretcher me and yeah. then take me out. You'd be the guy. Like, the, what are the guys that like just take the beating? Oh, he's a jobber. A jobber. A jobber. You're a jabron for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And, and, oh, sorry. Enhancement rock. talent. Ooh, Ooh, that's better. Enhancement talent. Enhance. So, <laughs> but we were we were joking because 
every show name is pretty sexual. <laughs> when you think yeah, let's go through over the them. names. Monday <laughs> night is what? Monday night is raw, <laughs> which is hilarious. My favorite. <laughs> We but, are on it tonight, bro. Now, Me and you are synced Seriously, up. like eight times now. We've but, said it at the same time. But now on Tuesday nights, there's another company called Impact, <laughs> <laughs> which is also very funny. <laughs> what, Wednesday, Wednesday, it's not. It's Dynamite and uh, NXT. So that's really not anything. Thursday, there's no wrestling on, which is, I said it was Pornhub Thursday. Yeah. Make and sure then, you don't call me on Thursdays anymore. <laughs> I don't call you at all. I don't want to talk to you on Thursdays. Why are you out of breath and sweat? Don't worry about it. (laughs) Watching cops. I was watching cops. You guys want these cookies I baked? And Friday. No, man. (laughs) It's fucking Thursday. I know what your ass is doing. (laughs) And and Friday Friday is SmackDown. Ooh. (laughs) He's laying the smack. And then Saturdays are usually the pay reviews. So you got a raw impact, dynamite next. Smackdown. Smackdown. <laughs> I'm in. Ooh. I'm in. That sounds like a fun week. If if you were to tell me that and describe it in that fashion, I'd be like, oh, man. What's her name? Right. This Bring is going to be over. crazy. If I came over to your house and we just sat and watched wrestling, I'd probably be really disappointed. But I, you know, I sat down and watched a week's worth of pro wrestling, <laughs> and I, I literally had to take a fucking break. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my brain, Overload. My People brain. buy stock in Jergens and Kleenex. No, it's not even that. It was last night angered me at the end of pro wrestling. Oh, oh I you couldn't have win. Ma- couldn't imagine you being angry about it. And I'll tell you why, because there's a dude. I don't that, think I've ever seen you angry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, you want to talk about mayonnaise again? <laughs> <laughs> but there's a dude that's been with the company for 11 oh, yeah, years. For 11 years, they finally let him be the champion. 180 days, he's held the belt, and they squashed him in 10 seconds against Brock Lesnar last night. It pissed me off. Is it because... 180 days, not a long time. Is it because of your love for this guy or your hatred for Brock? What's more A little bit of both, you? because Brock Lesnar is a part-time guy. He shows up once every three months. And if you're going to put a title belt on somebody, no matter what sport it is, you want them to be in the scene more than every three months. On a regular basis. Yeah. You want to see him every week. You want to see your champion every week. You want him to be the baddest man on the planet. But, well, yeah, that'd be like if, if LeBron James only played like... Yeah, 15 games a yeah, year. Yeah, 15. Well, isn't that the thing in the NBA right now, actually? Well, no, that's People the, are paying for tickets, and then they go, and they're like, I don't feel like playing tonight. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, but, okay. But... What do they do That's after the show? After the show to make because it James. was it was SmackDown's big premiere on Fox, which is huge. Vince McMahon got a billion dollars. to what? put to put it to put a wrestling show on Friday. Yeah, and he's going to flush it down the XFL toilet. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. He's putting all of his hope in Colin Kaepernick. Day. So you know what network XFL is going to be on then, right? Fox. Fox. No, it won't. Oh, maybe. Well, if he just signed yeah. the deal. Yeah, yeah we'll it might be. Billion. It might be. It might be on FS1. Is my guess. Maybe. Is where they're gonna put it. Do they still have Spike TV? No, that, Spike TV is the Paramount Network. No. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Paramount. But, so, Brock Lesnar wins the belt in eight seconds or something. I'm Wait, pissed. What did he? What did he do in eight he, seconds? He did. Though? He did his finishing move, which is the F5, where he throws a guy up on his shoulders, then kind of helicopters him off the shoulders. But who do they bring out to? Uh, to scare Brock Lesnar. Fucking Kane Velasquez. MMA fighter Kane, Kane that beat the shit yeah, out yeah, of him. Yeah. How many years ago was that fight? What, five? Maybe seven years ago? Stoke I think that Brock fire. has like three of the top five UFC grossing UFC grossings yeah. ever, yeah. So three out of the top five. So they bring Brock Kane Lesnar's. Velasquez out. First off, Brock's been on the sauce again. He's on. He is muscles. Well, on why top do you of think muscles. he's not in the UFC anymore? He is muscles on top of fucking muscles right now. Cain <laughs> Velasquez comes out looking like he just got done out of a pie eating contest. <laughs> he's got a knee brace on from the knee he blew out that he just had surgically repaired. He's limping down to the fucking ring. It is. It is like they're sending out a fucking lamb to fucking slaughter, and then he double legs Brock, and Brock's all scared. It <laughs> pissed me off because there's no realism in it to me. Yeah. You got this dude. Dr- <laughs> it's it's and it's not real. I, I was. I, I was. It is real. 
Go take a bump. Go well, flat back bump. We didn't want to be the one to tell you. That. It's not that real. It wasn't, no. <laughs> it's real it's to like me, It's like telling your it. kids there's, there's no uh, but no, I get that, though, that you could relate, and it's a believable story at least. Yeah, like, but, but what I'm saying is literally Kane is limping. Drag his, he's got a knee brace on over his jeans, and he's dragging his leg down to and the And Brock just beat this guy in eight seconds. When right. He's yeah, running that's from exactly the guy what I limping. was just thinking. Yeah. I was literally, <laughs> you show him that he's this monster in eight seconds destroying someone, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's supposed to be scared of this other guy? Because he beat him in an MMA, MMA fight fucking almost 10 years ago. I would have been like, hold my dick. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm just and I'm looking at it. I'm just like, dude, come on. Anybody, anybody else would have been better. <laughs> what night was this? Friday. Friday. Oh god. Last night. Main event. Way to ruin your Friday night. Well, and and I knew I knew <laughs> some shit in your cereal. I knew the squash was going to happen because they're it's a two hour show and it was like about that time 850 when they bring out the fucking main event. And I'm like, oh great, here we go. Way to shit on this guy's career. Wow. Maybe he'll be back. It's going to be the comeback. Uh, right, the comeback story of the okay. year. Brock Lesnar right now probably weighs 295, 300 pounds, solid fucking muscle. Kofi Kingston weighs legitimately 210 pounds, and he's he's. All I'm going to say is slender. if I was fighting Brock Lesnar, I'd fuck him up. I'm just saying, straight up, I'd jerk his dick off, and the <laughs> fight would be fucking over. I don't fight fair. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I'm jerking his, his dick off, and then I'm fucking knock you out. Yeah. Well, you're gonna go to grab nuts, and there ain't nothing there because they're them 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 jewels are shriveled any, up. From any all any the man gets his dick jerked off, then he's he's just laying there. He's not doing nothing. Wasn't well, it like if you get in a street fight? Isn't the trick to just fucking take off all your clothes and start acting <laughs> crazy? Because no one's gonna want to fight fight a naked fucking crazy dude. Isn't it? Wasn't this a skit a comedian said? Uh, Am I well, remembering well, this? No, right? they were remember no? they were doing it on the fucking. They were there was a guy filming from. Wasn't a it Kevin Hart? I thought. I don't know, but I remember someone saying they just take. There's either two things that's gonna happen. Yeah, you're either gonna you're gonna, gonna either you're gonna fucking scare him off because you're butt naked and acting crazy, <laughs> or he's gonna <laughs> knock you out, knock your ass out, and you're laying there on the ground butt ass <laughs> naked. <laughs> yeah. So the moral of this story, so that, choose uh, wisely, kids, is <laughs> find find something you're passionate in. Like Jeff has supers, I have pro wrestling. Frankie is jerking off. It's God, man. I just like cars, way. man. That's why I went to that car show today. I like cars. Dudes love cars. Dudes do love cars. I'm into I cars. cars. All kinds of cars. Muscle cars, imports, right like rides. I'm into bikes, crotch what about rockets, Prius? groms, not Harleys. Not Harleys. I'm talking about cool cars, bro. Prius. Sounds like you're like talking about a bio right now for your web page. <laughs> <laughs> This was my match.com. <laughs> the cars. <laughs> all cars. All bikes. cars. Not Harley's. Jeff, Jeff's Tinder bio. If you have a Supra, I will eat your ass. Ooh. All night long. Man, woman, child, I don't care. I thought about it. We used to, we used to know we hang out with this girl, and her uh, stepdad had a Supra. I think so she dope. liked me. I was like, hmm. She's too crazy. <laughs> too crazy. Is it for worth a Supra? it? Just so angry. She was too angry. You could have so, just. But I could have got to drive a Supra. Right. I, I felt bad for her boyfriend at times. Oh boy. You should have just Which made is, the deal. He is now married. Now, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. Congratulations. Isn't she? Him. She's married. She's too, married as well. Well, congrats. And, and, congrats. and you know what? He's With probably driving. No, in the world. he's he, probably driving that Supra around. <laughs> right. <laughs> he he might be, but he also <laughs> he also. Uh, like really leveled her out. He was good. Yeah. That, he laid that the was smackdown a good, raw. Well, everybody does. The deep impact. <laughs> what? Deep impact was a movie. It's just called. Impact. Oh, sorry. when you meet a good, when you meet a good person, you, you click with it. I mean, I feel like you get mellowed out. Both of you kind of do. Yeah. You just relax, get comfortable. I mean, I was fucking pretty wild. Kayla told me down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say what? it with a straight face. By, by, by wild, you're about as wild as a mild sauce from Taco Bell. <laughs> Bro, how dare you? You're just so savage. I, I just, yeah, I never thought of it that way. Jeff, Jeff's jeff been so even keeled the whole fucking time. You know, I haven't seen you mad since two Since a week ago when you guys were talking about the 2007. boat. 2007. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's last weekend when you got pissed about the boat was probably the I last time. I was very upset. The last time I seen you mad was probably 2007. Oh, fuck that boat. 
What you, was 2007? I, you would get so mad, you would just make noises. <laughs> like a five-year-old with aggression that can't let it out. And I remember I would, you'd be on the phone and I'd be driving your car and I'd be driving the stick shift on the passenger side while you just shifted. Bro, gears. this is like 2003. S- no. Yeah. No. He has not had a stick shift car in a hot minute. I miss oh, it. Maybe it was even early. Like, oh, probably 06 or 06. Yeah, 06 or 07, I'm, I'm thinking. What? Nah. Yeah. Could have been earlier than that. You know, this is nah, like you're fresh old. out of high school, you're bro. You're old, bro. You're to, old. To hear how much I missed stick shift as I was looking at Jeep Commanders, just so I could get one at stick shift in their piece of shit. I had to drive shit. one, a stick, a stick shift car at work. It was pretty fun. It brought me back. And I was thinking, like, on my way home when I was in my car and I'm sitting in traffic, I was like, thank God I don't have a fucking stick just shift car right now. Just my knees going to be I'd be so fucking pissed. Dude, there's a Honda S2000 for sale. <laughs> Black one, bro. I yeah. know you want one. Too what do you much. think? But I got a hundred grand under the hood of that car. <laughs> Overnight parts from Japan. Oh Jesus oh. Christ! That <laughs> if you put a hundred grand into a fucking S two thousand, you are wasting money. Wasting it in a what? Into an S two thousand. Why? It's just wasting. It's just I have disposable income here. Let me take this four <laughs> fucking cylinder car and put a bunch of money into it. You get a you get a right hand drive five speed Supra, How fifteen grand imported from Japan. Yeah, on the got, low low. <laughs> yeah, that you can't get titled in the states. They got to catch you first. No, you can't. They have I've, to be uh, twenty five years old. <laughs> Over twenty five years old, you can import them. I've, I've made. Yeah, those would be twenty five years old. Yeah, though. I've made that mistake. Let me, let me tell you, <laughs> Motorola is faster. Always, will always win. Motorola. I was doing about one hundred and thirty five down Highway Twelve, and I seen a cop parked on the side of the road, and I'm like, he ain't catching me. No fucking way is he catching me. I'm flying. I, I first hesitated. I popped the clutch in, started to slow down. I seen him. He turned his lights on. I said, nope. Shifted into fourth and just stepped on it. Yeah, well, that's when you shut your headlights and off. And this, is a, this is at like fucking four o'clock on a Saturday. In the afternoon? Yeah. Oh, so I. Uh, that's where you're done. I, I Oh, dude, I dusted him. He was gone. He, there's no fucking way he was catching me. He had to like turn around, catch it. Did y'all run going. that radio? No. Motorola is <laughs> faster. I got it. Well, I got up to an intersection like a couple miles down the road and straight ahead coming at me was a cop. And then where I was going to turn right was another cop. And I was like, fuck, I had a buddy with me in the car. I just stopped it. And I'm like, we're popped, bro. Like, this is What are you going to do? Yeah. What are you going to do? So they came out all crazy. I wish we How had much like that ticket. We need like an autobahn. 8,000? 8, yeah. Uh, I was sentenced 364 days at county because I was 17. You can't do over a year. So <laughs> 374, I was uh, sentenced. I had to get a lawyer, go through the whole spiel. Ended up costing me eight Gs. And all of a sudden done in two years probation and pff, fucking 250 hours of community service. Well, yeah, so but many at, toilets. But the but the story you just told blocks. is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that all was? I was helping my sister move, and I said I told this chick I'd be home at like three. Oh, bro, or something or like two. See, pussy is the cause of everything, right? And she's bitching. Where the fuck are you? I've been sitting out in your house, in front of your house for an hour and blah blah. And I was still there. I'm like, I'm on my way. So we got in the car, and I was just. What was your buddy ass. gonna do when you got there? I don't know. <laughs> Hold the video camera. <laughs> You guys were always at my house, though, when I was young, like that. Yeah. I have all these MySpace hoes coming over. How dare you? Angles. God. Angle picks for days. That was we'd need a week. We'd need a whole podcast to talk that story. We, we can't yes. talk. Maybe we next can't week. Talk that we, can't, we can't ever. That story cannot hit the airwaves. Why? Because of <laughs> the age of, of where we were like at. We're, we're not mentioning any. Yeah. We were all of totally eight, or I was gonna say eighteen. Uh, we were totally of legal age of twenty one. Yeah, this was in legal uh, age is eighteen. <laughs> not for getting fucking blacked out, wasted. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be twenty one, dude. I was chocolate wasted. <laughs> I want to get thing. chocolate wasted. That's a thing. I'd get I get cookie so dough wasted. Many, so much ice cream. 
<laughs> good times, though, man. We had some good times at the house. I'm going back. See, you want to get me into social media and shit? I'm going back to MySpace. Let's bring it back, bro. Pound sign MySpace. I like the, you know, you could set your cool background. Music? And, yeah, oh, the yeah. music. I don't, right. e- I don't even think you could do that anymore. No, there. I haven't even been on it you know what's, forever. You know what's funny is MySpace was I don't was know my teaching, password. MySpace was teaching you how to code. How like to code? how to do internet coding. By setting up your By background, setting up your and, background shit. Yeah. and shit, yeah. Training hacker training, <laughs> hacker training, one on one. And then all of a sudden, fucking Facebook came where all you had to do was just click, and that was it. I was I was totally against it. I'm like, everyone's going to, everyone's going to Facebook. They'll be back. They'll be, be back. back. I'm yeah. just gonna hang out here on my space for a while. And you were alone. <laughs> that was just. And you. then no one. That was the only one left. I'm like, fuck. All now right, it's just I'll you and it. Tom. Yeah, it's just Tom. me and Tom. <laughs> me, Tom, and Tila Tequila fucking hanging out. <laughs> oh shit! Just get check, those friends check, going. check your in, check your inbox. See if Tila Tequila is sending you a fucking. Hey, are you? Am I still relevant? No. I remember some uh, some blonde bimbo ended up uh, our friend with Creston. Uh, God, I can't even talk. Friend, <laughs> you sure it's water in that cup? Yeah, it's one hundred percent water, bro. I tasted it. It is. Was a uh, friend requested Frankie, and he's like, "Who the hell is this? She's pretty hot." And then we ended up seeing her on a what was it, American Idol? You remember this? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like that's a it, 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 what what. what? You're like, I know that girl. <laughs> yeah, I do remember I'm that. I'm friends with her on MySpace. And then she sang, and it was so fucking <laughs> was horrible, so and bad. they were making fun of her so bad. <laughs> and and did her mom come out, too? Hard. I'm pretty sure. I was uh, like, I'll go there for that sympathy fuck. And then Frankie hit her up. I'm so sorry, baby. I thought you were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah, shit. Speaking of. Yo, Frankie's got a friend, a female friend who was a fucking pro wrestler. This motherfucker's been talking about her for five years and never fucking hooked the bro up. I don't know how to use social media. I'm gonna figure it you out. And I'm gonna, I gotta hit her up. Right. You and her make, would be perfect for each other. You are a fucking asshole. Happen. It's over. I know. No, it's she's, not. She's already on to some fat bearded dude already. No, <laughs> I'm telling you, she's not. She's constantly doing. Um, Dude. What are those like? Uh, what are they called? Like marathons or like the the mutters or like the Spartan races? Yeah, Spartan she races. does that shit all the time. And obviously, yeah, obviously, I Sean ain't. will be there with the sign. Yep, yeah. go honey, go babe, go, <laughs> go babe, go, <laughs> babe, <laughs> babe, <laughs> go babe. There with a knee brace on. And oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, just here. here for the moral support. Yeah, just here for support. Got your water. It's nice and cold. I'm trying to get the You'd beer You'd probably be a good end. cheerleader. You would be. Saying. Be a motivator. Yeah. You're one hey, motivating listen, motherfucker. I, I, I'm an asshole with a heart of gold. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's what she needs. I'm going to have to, uh, like I said, I'll have to figure out how to. I heard you could, like, direct message, DM someone. So... I'm gonna Jesus try doing Christ. that. I really just want to grab both of your phones and go through your DMs <laughs> huh? just to see what's flying. I don't have any. D- what's never, a DM? I've only done it once. That video you no, sent to me. And, uh, I don't even know if I have brother. Any. That video some was shit. some fucking that was that's some funny shit. Probably a bunch of my friends' moms poking me. Poke. <laughs> <laughs> Poke. <laughs> or is that that's Facebook, right? That's, that's Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, actually, you're you on Instagram. You probably have like 500 friend requests that you need to fucking go and. Boop, 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 and then fucking tell them to listen to the goddamn podcast. Do it, Jeff. Maybe I should so they can see my one picture at a Hoobastank concert I went to in 2013. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, once again, our our social media is actually gaining followers, and we're not posting shit on it. Yeah. Well, maybe you should take a picture of your shit. Well, I did. It was the shape of an L. That joke didn't go over losing. very well. I thought we were going to post shit. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're not posting shit, so I was going <laughs> to. Maybe we should. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, this nah. is a this sober job. Yeah, this is a sober <laughs> podcast. Wow. Jeff, post grab that shit, bottle of Tito's bro. and bring no. us out of the toilet right Come now. On. Yeah, this isn't. You know what? So Go this in is... there and shotgun like six of them white claws. Let's we get didn't this do party a cheers started. on this podcast. So if you're out there and fucking drink one for me. Realty. Because I had about 20 this morning. I'm done. Don, son. I'm old. That all day drinking shit is over. You need a nap by like That's five. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's why I'd rather start at like three instead of noon or 
nine. Oh, so yeah. Sean's like, like, hey, let's watch this movie. I was like, can I get like a nap in quick? <laughs> <laughs> like, how long is it? <laughs> it's a long movie too, man. It's like an hour and 54 minutes. Yeah, yeah not as long as fucking Avengers. I was over that shit. Bro, over four hours, half way through, I'm just like, all right, are we going to kill four this hours of fucking yet? Chris. Who's it? Who's Captain America? Evans. And he's always like s- staring up, up at a weird angle. The whole That's time. America's ass. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do the smolder or does it just happen naturally? Mm. What's funny is I was watching. I didn't like Endgame. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. No. Nope. I did see it. I, I didn't, didn't see like it, it so at shut all. the fuck up. I thought both it was you. bad. Well, I'm just going to say I didn't like it. All so. right. That's enough. So you watch it and you be the judge. Copy uh, that. I, yeah. It was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best way it was a movie. It Motion was, pictures. Yeah. Things and stuff were on it. <laughs> Things happened. Shit blew up. It's a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. I think there was fighting. an all chick moment. Did in anyone get punched yes, in the Jejuno? Hell yeah, bro. There, there was a very woman woman empowering movement in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Wonder Woman? Huh? No, that's DC. You do not get those fucking mixed up ever again. Sorry. I like how, uh, what's that? Um, Captain Marvel. She's yeah. like so overpowering. So they just like kept her out of most of the movie. Because if she was there, she would have just beat everyone's ass. Captain Marvel's the Superman of the Marvel Universe. Right. So they had to leave her. That's why Superman movies aren't exciting. Because no. it's like nothing's going to happen to this dude. Oh, I showed up. Look at what I got. Kryptonite. Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I have laser eyes. Oh, no. Psst, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, why don't you kill him before that kryptonite gets close to you? It, Superman is the laziest comic ever written. How is Superman, the best Superman ever made, was made in the fucking 70s? <laughs> 80, it was the 80s. It was like 82. Well, yeah, maybe Lord Zoltan Don't was fucking... Don't get me on that. Best Shark movie, 1974. Neil DeZog. <laughs> Neil before Zod. Neil before Zod. How do you spell that? Huh? Yeah. D-O-D-D? And, and how the... F- Ziad. How the fuck... When he took the S off his chest and threw some cellophane out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. That was my that. Well, that slowed me down for a half a second. What the? F- I went down the YouTube vortex again, and I I just I forgot how bad so those bad. those Batman TV shows were. Oh my god, the Adam West. Oh my. Are god. you kidding me? <laughs> I used my shark repellent spray. <laughs> It was so fucking bad. Is that available at stores now? Or? Do the bat Tusi? Come on, bro. Oh, my God. That was... It was... There was so much drugs going around. Oh, that yeah. Set. <laughs> Why wasn't what are I we doing today? I don't fucking know. Swimming with sharks and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw my batarang and see what happens. Yeah, I guess we're going to pretend uh, we're climbing this wall today. That My utility bill. See, you watch that... You gotta watch that with just knowing that what it was. It wasn't meant to be serious. There's no way that show was meant to be serious. No, see, that's when it was like cartoon, cartoon. Yeah, you know. And then uh, regular Batman, the well, the one with Michael Keaton, kind of made it, it, it was, a little darker. Yeah, it was, a little, but it's it still was a cartoony. Cross. Though, yeah, it was a cross. You know? Batman with nipples. No, Horrible. that was George Clooney's. Horrible. It was close-ups on. Booties and <laughs> yeah. dick shots. Yeah, a lot of and then dick Alicia, shots. Then Alicia Silverstone just shows up in the Batcave. Always dirty. She's always, always dirty. Always dirty. She always had dirt on her. Speaking of Bat, are you going to watch the uh, Bat or Bat Woman? The Ruby, no. the Ruby Rose. That looks horrible. Did she marry Bruce Wayne or something? No, <laughs> Bruce Bat- Wayne dies. Batman's gone, or he's gone on a some kind of vision quest. <laughs> Batman's gone and every and she like picks up where he left off, but it's not called Batgirl. Batwoman. It's Batwoman. Because you if you Powerful. call if you call a woman a girl now, you're a male chauvinist pig <laughs> and deserve to have your balls cut off and thrown down a flight of stairs. Okay, so I can call him a girl to what age? Eighteen. All right. So then she's a woman. a woman. Then she's a woman. Or is it a young lady? A young lady. Hey, young lady. That's yeah. That's like at fifteen. They're young ladies. Okay, so 
when they get to high school, they're ladies. Ladies in high school. And then women. Women at And then when are they old hags? <laughs> 60. 26. <laughs> Ugh. Man, just killing them female fucking listeners right now. I just, I, yeah, I'm, just, I, I, like I said, I'm out of the loop on a lot of this shit. I just, just be nice to people. I try to treat everybody the same, no matter what sex, race, E-L-E. color, height, short, big, skinny, fat. I, I just, you know, just treat everybody how you want to be fucking treated. That's exactly. the way I look at it. Exactly. Like and if I'm talking to someone, I'd talk to them how if how I would want to be talked to. Also, yeah, at work with the porters, I hate when people are like, "Go fucking grab this car for this customer. They're waiting out front. This and that." And then they're like, "This porter doesn't ever do anything." I ask them, "Well, listen how you talk to him." <laughs> like I don't ever right. tell them to do that. I mean, if I have to, I will. But I'll be like, "Hey, bro, can you do me a favor and can go I, grab this car?" And can I ask you just a simple question? What's their job? What is a porter's job? In their job title, what are they supposed to do? Yeah, but I don't have to make them feel no, like no, shit no, about no, it no, to get the car for the customer. Okay. But, like, hey, but you could be like, hey, dude, mind grabbing that car quick? You know, like, kind of get right. them excited about it. Hey, man, yeah. do me a favor. Grab this car from this customer. She's out front and pull it up. Okay, no problem. Wait, Every time. I never wait, wait, get they, an issue. They don't respond to, hey, you cunt, go grab that fucking yeah. car for this lady. Hey, go grab that fucking car and pull it up for her. We've all had, you know, numerous jobs, and it's like you always work harder for someone you respect you always know? always you that's the thing a lot of people think they want to rule not by respect they want to rule by fear and no one wants to do anything for that fucking guy who wants to rule by there's, fear there exactly. is a difference between a boss and a leader yep 100 percent, 100 fucking percent a leader is going to help you he's going to show you the way a boss is the guy that's sitting on your back wh- fucking whipping you with the whip yep make me more money yeah and the problem with that now is even the bosses are soft. Yeah. Well, they don't know what to do in this this economy or whatever the fuck's going on either. This new generation of kids that you can't talk to or yell at or say anything to. Right, because then you'll get blasted. You'll get fucking fired. Right. Like if you tell a kid, hey, go stock that shelf. He'll f- I don't have, why don't you tell Timmy? Yeah. Work ethic. Not my Timmy has I don't stock the shelves, bro. I'm work, working the cash register. It's work, like, dude. Work ethic is dead. You know, yeah. <laughs> Your superior just told you to do something. Like, No, it's impossible. I mean, the last couple of jobs I had, we were trying to bring in new people at each one of those jobs, and it was like they were just burning through people nonstop. Yeah. Dude, I work at a place where... Because they want to find younger kids that can grow with the companies and yeah. stuff, you know? But and they just don't want to fucking work. I know. Uh, I'm going to take off this whole week because I want to get fucked up. And then I'll go back to work next week. But, you know, and then I, I, look, back at, I look back at my 21-year-old <laughs> self. And, yeah, I fucking call in all the fucking time and be a piece of shit and not think anything of it. Fuck that. I drove to work fucking wasted, parked in the parking lot, got 45 minutes of sleep before we started, and I did my job. I didn't say you. I said me. Yeah. yeah. When I was actually before 21. See, if I went out and got fucked up, that's my fault. So right. I still went to work. Yeah. Me too. That's how I yeah, looked at it. My, my mindset back then was just stupidity. <laughs> I'll be I'll, oh. 100% with, uh, honest Everyone's with you. Everyone's been there. Wait. Don't get me wrong. I there? called in a couple of times. Dude, I haven't, yeah. called, I haven't called in to work in fucking like 15 years. I, I, don't, I don't have that good of a tractor. Jesus, got to get some oxygen. That's like that my thing. mom used to tell me that too because she never called. I went to school through grade school and high school, and I didn't miss one day. And I missed one day, and everyone thought I was like dead or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, yeah. Honestly, the last time I called in sick, I was working at the restaurant, and I called in from the restaurant. toilet. I was shitting in and the puke. restaurant. No, I was I was at home. <laughs> hey, I'm here. I'm just shitting. Yeah, right no, now. <laughs> I called in and I'm like, "Hey, I need to talk to some. I need to." <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I can't come. I had the flu. Ooh, and both it was, ends. That's the at worst. The, at the same time so every time i puked i shot out poop too <laughs> it was the worst it was the worst like 48 hours of my life yeah, See, I when i was fuck, doing i'll call in when i was doing warehouse work none of this was a problem like if i had diarrhea or something you know bathroom's right there now i'm bouncing around in a <laughs> fucking truck all day 
There's nowhere to shit. Please, God, no. <laughs> Butt cheeks stay together. Come on, cheeks, cheeks stay, stay together. together. <laughs> so, yeah. So now if I'm shitting my brains out, I ain't going to See, work. I don't give a fuck. If I'm, I go to work all the time, I bust my ass, I stay late to make sure my shit's done. Like, my boss was literally telling me Friday, go home, man. <laughs> Fucking do this shit Monday. And I'm like, nah, I want to I wanna just finish it now because I want to have a nice, easy Monday. So I'll stay late and get my shit done, but... If I if I need my day too, if my fucking two thirds and I gotta go to the dentist, I, I ain't sweating that. I'm calling and taking my time. So take yeah. care of yourself so, first. The moral of the w- this week is watch pro wrestling. Find and your don't be a bitch. Find, find your, passion, your passion. Yeah. Find your passion and no work, bitch and work your ass off because eventually it should pay off for you. That's right. Hopefully. So, as always, for Jeff, for Frankie, for myself, Sean. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next week. And by the way, this is the last audio podcast we're going to have because we are going to be videoing episode 20. Well, there still will be audio. There's audio. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. Later, guys.